Hi, I'm Leanne, and this is the Everyday Princess. Welcome. This week, we're going to take a look at How a Shepherd Loves His Sheep. I read this amazing book by Philip Keller, W. Philip Keller. See? A Shepherd's Look at the 23rd Psalm. It's fascinating. He, he was a shepherd and he knows what he's talking about and he describes sheep. Now here's some sheep trivia that I didn't know before I read this book. One of the big ones is a sheep has no defense in and of itself. A sheep can't scream loud, a sheep can't run fast, doesn't have claws, can't, doesn't even have sharp teeth that, you know, to bite. And in fact, if it lays down and rolls over just a little too far, it can roll on its back and not be able to get up, which is very, very dangerous and can be the end of the life for the sheep. And in fact, when a shepherd sees this happening, runs really fast to help because he knows how dangerous it is. Well, the defense of a sheep is actually the good shepherd. And a shepherd that really watches out for and keeps a close eye on the needs of the sheep and is ready at a moment's notice to jump up and to defend and to take care of the sheep, his precious sheep. Well, it, the sheep shepherd is also, when he is there with the sheep, it's a calming thing. The presence of the shepherd calms, calms fears. A shepherd also disciplines bossy mama sheep. They can get a little bit too, too bossy and push the poor little guys out of the way. And the shepherd will discipline them. And when the sheep does fall down and roll over and can't get up, the shepherd runs and helps the sheep get back up and sometimes has to massage the legs to get the feeling back in their legs so they can stand on their own. Well, I find it all fascinating because in Psalm 23, you read in verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes, the Lord is my shepherd. God treats me like this. He takes care of me like this. He watches everything. He sees everything going on and knows what I need and he knows how to care for me. The, what I described to you was just a little bit of what's in this book. I highly recommend you get it and read it. I think that you'll be fascinated and encouraged by it. And I think for me personally, um, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I don't know why, but I feel anxious. And it's not like there's something I can do to fix it. I just, I don't, you know, there's not specifically something going on. But I know, I know that if I go downstairs and sit on my corner of the sofa and curl up with my Bible and read my Bible and talk to my father, my good shepherd, that I feel safe. And the fears and anxieties, they melt away. And I can talk to him about, you know, if there is something going on, you know, what should I do, Father? So I highly encourage that you go ahead and find a copy of this book and be blessed and encouraged by the truth in it. The Lord is my shepherd, almighty God. Thank you, Lord, that you are our shepherd. Thank you, almighty God, that you care for us. You watch over us. You know what we need. And you take care of it. So I wish you a blessed week. In the care of your good shepherd, may you delight and know more what it means to be cared by him. And if you're not one of his sheep yet, 
I would encourage you to go back to my very first videos and take a look at them and it will explain how you can become a sheep too. A sheep that belongs to the Good Shepherd. Until next time. And if you like, you can tap on the subscribe button and hit the bell. And you'll be notified of my videos coming out each Tuesday. God bless.